Well, there's a lot of new coming down the pike for the top rated dining chain, Cheddar's Scratch Kitchen. There's a name change, which mm -hmm. you just mentioned. We've got a new logo. There it is. Plus, a new contest. We think this is one of the coolest opportunities for local home cooks. Cheddar's culinary manager, Nick Stuckenholtz, is here. Hey, and and Colin, Colin, good to see you as well. <laughs> yeah. Colin Canny, good to see you. Uh, so, we got, so what, let's talk about this name change. Yeah. Uh, what's this all about? All right, so basically, um, changing the name to Cheddar's Scratch Kitchen is a part of a company program to highlight its scratch kitchen. So um, in our commitment to serving handmade quality food mm -hmm. from scratch. So Cheddar's has been doing this for over 35 years. Mm -hmm. um, we have 160 restaurants across the country and we just want to highlight the fact that over 90% of our menu is made in house. That's awesome. Why does that matter? I mean, I, I know as, so, listen, you grow up eating stuff from scratch and then you taste something that came out of a box and it's like, wow, this is different. You Why definitely, do guests um, enjoy it? you know, the, the fact that we put all of the time and the fresh ingredients yes. into our recipes, you can definitely taste the difference. It's huge. Well, you definitely can. And, and I think you can, you can tell those other chain restaurants that maybe pop stuff out of the freezer mm -hmm. and drop it in some sort of fryer or something like that. It's a but different world. it is a different world. Um, so, what are you bringing in today? You're going to make something too, right, Nick? Yes, I'm going to make our New Orleans pasta. Uh, this is one of our top selling dishes. Mm -hmm. So, basically, what I've got here. Is. Well, that burn's, burn is going to take a while to heat up. I'm glad it you is. already got a head start on it. Yeah, you so. work on that. Um, and while we get a couple shots, well, I don't know. Do you, do well, you want to get you started? Can you explain what's in there? Yeah. So this is our New Orleans pasta. I it's got away, smoked well, I, sausage. I didn't ruin it. <laughs> it's got smoked sausage, chicken, shrimp, peppers, mm. and onion. All kind of tossed in a Cajun mm. spice. Oh, those are gr a green peppers. Green Yum. peppers, yes. That looks delicious. You've got um, a sauce and some pasta yes. and some garnishes all over here. So while you keep working, right. Colin, this contest, our viewers who heard about it as we started the visit are thinking, "What is this? It's what absolutely, is this? It's absolutely perfect for any of you at-home chefs yes. out there. Um, you have to get all all of the orders in by May sixth to brand team at um, at Cheddar's .com. May sixth is May the deadline. Okay. And what we're doing is we're going to do uh, a side dish competition mm -hmm. for your opportunity to win uh -huh. not only a two hundred and fifty dollar gift card to Cheddar's, but your your side dish will be on the menu for up to six weeks How at our cool local is that? menu. It's so awesome. your friends and family could go in and order yeah, exactly your, dish. your favorite side. Any guidelines? Any categories of, of side dishes that we it's, should be thinking it, about? It, it's really broad. Um, kind of some of the things we have. Already, we do um, we do a great mac and cheese. We mm -hmm. do a broccoli cheese casserole, mm -hmm. red beans and rice, things like that. So it's very very broad. Kind of use your imagination and get some good submissions well, out there. Well, Colin said it. The deadline is coming May sixth. If you'd like to, if you, you live in the area, you can just drop off recipes at the restaurant. If you'd prefer, though, you can email them to brandteam at cheddars.com. So if it's that side dish that your friends and family have to have every Easter, every Thanksgiving, anytime they're coming over, they say, would you make this? I think that's a good place to start. Yeah, exactly. it is. Uh, Nick, can we get to the recipe over here? What do you yes. Mm -hmm. How's it coming along? It's you coming along put, very good, yeah. You put some something in there. Mm. Yes, it's our Cajun Alfredo. Oh. So it's a nice creamy, a little bit of spice to it. Oh, my gosh. And then once this gets all heated up, we're going to mm -hmm. toss in our penne pasta. You said a little bit of spice. Some people get nervous, you know, with spice because they wonder, will it be too much? Give us like a scale of one to five. Where is this dish? It's probably about a three, so mm -hmm. you can definitely taste a little bit of heat, but nothing overwhelming. Great. Yeah. We have some other items over here too. Let's I don't get know, to this. Colin. This is some sort of Cajun pasta too, isn't it? Yeah, that's actually the New Orleans pasta I'm making right now. So that's oh, this the, is, that'll that'll be the final, the final yeah, product. Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. and then this is an appetizer. So if you're mm -hmm. considering submitting your recipe, no, he said side dishes. Side right? dishes. Oh, just side dishes. Exactly. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. Don't get excited. We got a nice starter here. This is our spinach dip. Yeah. Um, generally, pe Love places have stuff. spinach and artichoke dip. Yes. Ours is just spinach, just cheese, spinach. sour cream, and there's a lot of spinach. It's really good yeah. for any of you Popeye yes. fans. Out no, there. We, we've had this before. I was telling the guys before the break. The restaurant is just a few stoplights from mm -hmm. KMTV. So, what we enjoy here anytime we're doing a work lunch, we'll often go to Cheddar's because the menu is so diverse. Exactly. It pleases a lot of appetites that way. For everybody mm -hmm. uh -huh. yeah, so, we got great we sandwiches, burgers, pastas, mm -hmm. steaks, and Wraps. Our, of course. Our honey butter croissants, which mm. are fantastic. These are kind of world so good. famous, aren't they? Yes, they are. We sell a lot of them. What do you put in them that makes them so good? It's it's the honey butter on top. Yeah. A little sweet, mm. very good. And we're con guy. we're constantly cooking them. They're coming fresh out of the oven. They come with a salad to cancel out any of that. Can you talk about value, <laughs> nutritional value that it might have? Right. Well, that happens. Can you talk <laughs> about uh, some of the side dishes that you have? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So some of the side dishes, um, like Colin said, are mac and cheese. 
and our broccoli cheese casserole are mm -hmm. very, very high selling. Um, red beans and rice. Yes. We've got mashed potatoes and gravy. Yeah. Uh, buttered corn. Southern green green beans. beans. Yes, all very good. What are the southern green beans? How, do you, how are those oh, made? Do they, they have some ham? They, they've got well, a little, little bacon, bacon fat. A little yeah. bit of onion, maybe. Exactly. Mm -hmm. A little onion. A little sugar. That's the way Meemaw used to make them. Exactly. Yes. But I think that's part of it, too. When we go back to this scratch story, it's, it's eating things that are delicious, but it's because they're made fresh, and fresh makes a tremendous difference mm -hmm. in the end result when you, you know, start with the best ingredients. Instead of having, you know, something come out of a bag, you know, all cheddars are making all of their recipes from uh -huh. scratch, so you can definitely taste the difference there. Who typically comes in, Colin? I mean, if, if you see a group come in, I mentioned that some of us from work, but I also see a lot of families come in. So if you were to describe, like, your typical guest, who is Gosh, it? Who loves we, the restaurant most? Pretty much everyone in Omaha. I believe we are, <laughs> believe we are the, busiest the busiest restaurant, restaurant. in Omaha. Mm -hmm. So just about anyone. We Side are, note to that, if mm -hmm. you were to look at me and look at Mary, what would I order off your menu? What would Mary order? I don't know. Off your you menu? might be a buffalo chicken wrapper guy. Yes, I Which love Which is so funny because that's rat. what I always order. There you go. Get there out. You go. I like it. I will say this too: when you pull into the parking lot, don't be dissuaded by all of the cars and think it's going to take forever to get in and find a table because there's they have so many tables inside the restaurant. I know some people might be right. They pull in, they're like, exactly. "Gosh, I'm never going to be able to get in." Don't worry about it. Park, get in. They do a great job of getting folks seated. Nick, the shrimp is delicious. I it is. It, off here. it is. Mm -hmm. And this is actually ready to go. Oh, you plate so, that. Yes. And then we'll remind you about the side dish recipe contest. So we're looking for those casseroles, whatever it is. You know it's a hit at home. Submit it in for the Cheddar Scratch Kitchen Recipe Contest. The deadline's May 6th. You can drop off recipes. You can email them in. If you have any questions at all, call 330-4140. Gentlemen, thanks a million for coming in Thank and there look it at is. that dish. Right. Bam! Right there. Holy smokes. <laughs> there we go. Dress it up a little, Colin. And there's our Texas toast on the side. Grab a right fork there, and we'll be good to go. to go. Ready for lunch. Thank you, Nick. It's Thank great to have you here. Yeah, Thank you, Colin. Thank you. So nice to meet Thanks you.